Before we begin, please tap the subscribe button and the bell icon. To C. V. Ramanburn in India date of birth 1988. Field physics discovered the Raman effect in spectroscopy. Using a spectrograph that he developed, he and his student K.S. Krishnan discovered that when light traverses a transparent material, the deflected light changes its wavelength and frequency. J. Robert Oppenheimer, born in 1904, was an American theoretical physicist and director of the Manhattan Project's Los Alamos Laboratory. During World War II, he is often called the father of the atomic bomb. Later, he advocated for the control of arms and opposed the development of hydrogen bomb. Carlos Chagas, born in 1879, was a Brazilian sanitary physician, scientist, and microbiologist who worked as a clinician and researcher, most well known for the discovery of an eponymous protozoal. Infection called Chagas disease, also called American trypanosomiasis. He also discovered the causative fungi of the pneumocystis pneumonia. He described the two pathogens in 1909. While he was working at the Oswaldo Cruz Institute in Rio de Janeiro, Chagas's work holds a unique place in the history of medicine. Working in primitive conditions, Chagas described in detail a previously unknown infectious disease, its pathogen, vector, host, clinical manifestations, and epidemiology. Hideki Yukawa or Yukawa Hideki, born in 1907, was a Japanese theoretical physicist and the first Japanese Nobel laureate for his prediction of the pi meson or pion. In 1935, he published his theory of mesons, which explained the interaction between protons and neutrons at Osaka Imperial University and was a major influence on research into elementary particles. In 1938, he received his Ph.D. degree at Osaka Imperial University for his predictions regarding the existence of mesons and his theoretical work on the nature of nuclear forces. These research achievements were the reason. He was later awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev, born in 1834, was a Russian chemist and inventor. He is best known for formulating the periodic lie and creating a version of the periodic table of elements. He used the periodic law not only to correct the then accepted properties of some known elements, such as the valence and atomic weight of uranium, but also to predict the properties of three elements that were yet to be discovered germanium, gallium, and scandium. Mario José Molina Enrique, born in 1943, was a Mexican physical chemist. He played a pivotal role in the discovery of the Antarctic ozone hole and was a co-recipient of the 1995 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his role in discovering the threat to the Earth's ozone layer from chlorofluorocarbon CFC gases. Stephen William Hawking, born in 1942, was an English theoretical physicist, cosmologist, and author who was director of research at the Center for Theoretical Cosmology at the University of Cambridge. Hawking's scientific works includes gravitational singularity, theorems in the framework of general relativity, and the theoretical prediction that black holes emit radiation, often called Hawking radiation. Hawking was the first to set out a theory of cosmology explained by a union of the general theory of relativity and quantum mechanics. Max Karl Planck, born in 1858, was a German theoretical physicist whose discovery of energy quanta won him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1918. Planck's fame as a physicist rests primarily on his role as the originator of quantum theory which revolutionized human understanding of atomic and subatomic processes. Alice Evelyn Wilson, born in 1881, was Canada's first female geologist. Her scientific studies of rocks and fossils in the Ottawa region between 1913 and 1963 remain a respected source of knowledge. Marie Curie, born in 1867, was a Polish and naturalized French physicist and chemist 
Who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity? Uri won the 1911 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her discovery of the elements polonium and radium. Using techniques she invented for isolating radioactive isotopes, she was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize. The first person to win a Nobel Prize twice. And the only person to win a Nobel Prize into scientific fields. Eduardo Cusuming, born in 1895, was a Filipino biologist. A leading authority of plants in the Philippines, Cusuming was author of taxonomic and morphological papers, many of which deal with orchids, including medicinal plants in the Philippines. Kahit Arf, born in 1910, was a Turkish mathematician. He is known for the Arf invariant of a quadratic form in characteristic to applied in knot theory and surgery theory in topology. The Hasarf theorem in ramification theory, Arf semigroups, and Arf rings. Huang Wusak, born in 1953, is a South Korean veterinarian and researcher. He was considered a pioneering expert in stem cell research and even called the pride of Korea. However, he became infamous around November 2005 for fabricating a series of stem cell experiments that were published in high-profile journals, the case known as the Huang Affair. Galileo Galilei, born in 1564, was an Italian astronomer, physicist, and engineer, sometimes described as a polymath. Galileo has been called the father of observational astronomy. Modern era classical physics, the scientific method and modern science. Santiago Ramon y Cajal, born in 1852, was a Spanish neuroscientist, pathologist, and histologist specializing in neuroanatomy and the central nervous system. He and Camilla Golgi received a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1906. Hundreds of his drawings illustrating the arborizations. Tree growing of brain cells are still in use since the mid-20th century. For educational and training purposes, Chris Sintu, born in 1954, is a Thai professor and pharmacist, as known as the Gypsy Pharmacist. She was pharmaceutical consultant in the local production and increased access to life-saving medicines in Africa, in particular, malaria and HIV AIDS-related drug production. Ahmed Hassan Zewil, born in 1946, was an Egyptian and American chemist known as the father of femtochemistry. He was awarded the 1999 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work on femtochemistry and became the first Egyptian and Arab to win a Nobel Prize in a scientific field and the second African to win a Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Luis Federico Leloir, born in 1906, was an Argentine physician and biochemist. He received the 1970 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his discovery of the metabolic pathways by which carbohydrates are synthesized and converted into energy in the body. Thank you guys so much for watching. And before you go, please remember to subscribe to the channel right now and leave a like for that YouTube algorithm.